Let's do this without dropping the camera. Okay. All right. So now we have a mains uh, outlet over here. Uh, of course, it's uh, US 120 volts or so. And let's go ahead and put it on non-contact voltage detection. And we'll try to measure it. And you'll see here what we have. Okay, so non-contact voltage detection. I'm going to hold it right up to the... So we have to hold it close. Go back. You have to hold it fairly close. And where we have here, the outlet itself, let's unplug it. And you notice if we hold it right up to it, see, it doesn't see anything, doesn't detect it. Now we hold it right up to it. So it's sensing it now, but it's still not a very strong reading. Not At least not on this S10 meter. Now let's take a look at another dedicated voltage probe. We're using a B-side X1. And let's set it for high sensitivity mode. So here we are. We are several inches away. So without even touching it, so we're just showing. So yeah, it's much more sensitive. And let's do the same test with the, the wire plugged in. It gives you another idea. So now, again we have this. So you notice the wire acts like an antenna. And if we bring this probe closer, see much further away and it can still detect it. So in terms of sensitivity, the dedicated voltage probe is more sensitive at non-contact voltage detection than the S10 or probably even the S11 meter. So just something to consider. And now let's go ahead and take a look at these specifications here on this a text here that's highlighted in black. This gives you an idea of what the S10 meter can do. And you see there, which shows DC voltage and AC voltage over on your left, that's for the automatic measurement. So your DC voltage, it needs at least 0 0.8 volts before the automatic measurement can pick up that it is a voltage coming in. And the AC voltage measurement needs a minimum 2.2 volts before it realizes that AC is coming in. And the resistance, it needs at least one ohm. Capacitance, it needs at least one nanofarad, and so on. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And again, please subscribe if you like it or if you find the information useful. Thank you.